Hey, Ani, it's oh, so good, good to see you. Good How have you been? I'm doing well, thanks. Great. So what's my job today? I'm starting to feel really heavy right through here. Kind of like everything's falling forward. <laughs> yeah, that's a common complaint. We've already done quite a bit of all therapy, which is an awesome tool for rebuilding that deep support structure. But I think really now we need to start addressing volume correction in your face as well. Okay. So sometimes what we start to do is lose volume in some areas that we're not even really paying attention to. And then it gives us this feeling of being a little jowly or too full. My recommendation is that we probably go ahead with some dermal fillers today. There are many different types of dermal fillers that we'll use at Center for Aesthetics. We've been using dermal fillers in our practice for over 20 years. And in those 20 years, we've injected over 10,000 syringes of filler. That's a lot. Patients often ask me, and what type yeah. of filler are you using? You know, I'm using Refine, which is a Restylane product, Restylane Refine. And these fillers are really exciting because they're really the new generation of what they call expressive fillers. These are fillers that are the most natural. They're a naturally occurring sugar molecule that our skin already manufactures. And they're also the most natural in feel as well because they integrate with your own soft tissue. And after a week or two, you can't even feel them on board. So I'm not gonna have duck lips? Not making those anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Number three is that they're reversible. Not that we usually want to be reversing our filler, but if for some reason you don't like the way it looks or we're having an issue with the filler, we know that we can reverse that instantaneously with an enzyme. So that makes it the safest fillers out there as well. Good. That sounds great. great. Yeah. Um, we're going to have a lot of bruising. You know, fortunately, the techniques that we use these days employ blunt tip cannulas, which have really reduced the risk of extensive bruising with fillers. What is normal to experience after dermal filler injection is a little bit of swelling. You may get a bruise at the insertion point. You may feel a little bump here or there. Those typically dissipate over about two weeks. You'll have a little bit of tenderness, even if you don't have bruising. And the day after the procedure, especially when we inject around the mouth, you may feel like your mouth is a little stiff to movement and swollen. These are all typical and expected. So I always tell patients to plan dermal filler injections appropriately. Don't do this right before a big party or event. Perfect. All right, that sounds good. Right. Let's do it. Okay, before you start, is this gonna hurt? No, you know, basically, this is one of the advantages of blunt tip cannulas. Did you feel that? I didn't feel that. <laughs> <laughs> At Center for Aesthetics, we choose to use blunt tip cannulas for most of our dermal fillers. This translates into a myriad of benefits for the patient. Number one, blunt tip cannulas limit the number of insertion points underneath the skin. And when you enter the skin with a needle, that's what's gonna cause a bruise. Number two, turns out it's a lot more comfortable as well. Sharp tip, right? Ouch, that hurt. Blunt tip cannula doesn't hurt at all. The last reason that we use blunt tip cannulas is a very important one. It reduces the risk of intravascular dermal filler injection, which is a dreaded complication when you use a sharp tip needle. And what happens there is that the filler inadvertently is injected into a vessel and can cause occlusion of that vessel. We virtually eliminate that risk when we stick with blunt tip cannulas. So there are a million reasons why you should request blunt tip cannula dermal filler injections. Now, how long is this filler gonna last? You know, fillers typically last anywhere from 12 to 18 months. They vary depending upon the type of filler that we're choosing to use. Bottom line is that people often ask me about permanent fillers. At first blush, they sound really appealing to the patient. Something that lasts forever, I only have to do it once? But let's think about that for a second. The face I have today is not the face that I'm gonna have in five years. So why am I locking a filler into a specific location when it's probably not gonna be the right place in five years, let alone 10? And then, you know, with permanent fillers, you can't remove them. So what you have is what you get. Looking good. You can see how giving back a little bit of definition to the jawline has really reduced the appearance of this fullness in this area. The next place we're going to go is into your chin. So here, Ani, you can see we've treated one side of your chin and not the other. On the untreated side, you still have a shadow or a depression. It sort of sinks in underneath your lip as it heads towards the chin. Mm -hmm. And on the side we've treated, now everything projects uh, going from the corner of your lip down to your chin, and it takes away the shadow. It's made the corner of my mouth turn up, too. Yeah, I look happy on yeah. that side. That's one of the other benefits. Um, yay! Fix the other one. <laughs> You know, our face is a lot like a house, and that there are many layers that make up the complete structure. 
And basically, if you think about a house, we have the scaffolding, mm -hmm. we have the insulation, and we have the paint job, and our face is no different. The example I give is think about a Whoville house, right? Sort of bulging on the sides, but it just doesn't have the right structure, so it can't support itself. So mm -hmm. now we have all therapy that addresses that deep scaffolding layer, mm -hmm. and we can use fillers for the right reason, which is to restore the volume that's lost instead of using it to prop up the face. That looks great. We used three cc's of filler, one syringe above your brow, we used one cc along your jawline, and one cc in your chin to take away the shadows. No more jowlies. Awesome! Yay! That looks great. Thank you.